concept. Hopefully, if you start it with the one hand, they'll kind of start to develop good habits and they won't really pick the ball up and everything else and they'll transition nicely into having two hands on the ball. So again, I just start out with really laterally right now. I have the ball at my back foot, same thing, nice and low. Important, I don't want to be bent over this way, kind of like if you were squatting, you had weight on your back, I'm bending from the hips in here, coming nice and low, you can see my power is set, I got my power here ready to generate, and then through the pass, immediately, right, and you can see it's just one scoop motion, off the ground, through the pass, seems pretty generic, seems pretty basic, but again, especially for young kids, just getting them comfortable doing this is very, very important, so again, bowling my back foot, nice and low, I like to kind of keep my heel up when I'm, uh, when I'm passing, this is something that's going to probably be a preference thing for your kids. You see a lot of kids, when they come in, they'll step into their pass or whatever else. I feel like to come in set, so if I'm approaching the ball, I come in set. Now I'm up, I'm loaded, so I got my power here, from here, and I'm just nice and easy transfer through. So you can see I'm coming from my heel onto my toe. It's just a natural weight transfer. Um, again, you do that off both the right and the left hands, kind of the same thing. I would try not to get too monotonous with it. Uh, so then what you do is you want to start to incorporate um, a little bit of footwork into it, right? So you want to start gradually with, with the footwork progression. So uh, something that I've done, and, and they do at all levels actually that you'll see, is if I could get just a couple more balls real quick. <coughs> I'll, just, I'll just put three out there for now. But essentially you're just going to line them up, single file, I'm sure. Plenty of you guys have seen these drills before. I have my, my fly half receiver, whoever it is that's out here. I'm going to start a little bit behind each ball. I'm just going to approach each ball and just fire them away. <laughs> the important thing when you're doing your footwork now, um, a couple things actually. In this situation now, I'm no longer passing directly laterally. At this point now, I mean, well now I can't because of, of living in the room here a little bit, but you know, now I'm looking at more practically an angle to a fly half than I'm passing to, right? So the important thing really for young scrum halves is going to be your front foot in these situations because a lot of them will tend to take that step straight across their body. The problem with this now is that they tend to now throw with their back and their shoulders and try to pull it over top of their leg and throw it behind, right? And there's a tendency when you do that to misfire and throw behind your target because you're trying to compensate for basically getting in your own way. So all I'm doing now is from this when we were doing it laterally, I'm just opening my hips to the point now where I'm nice and open, I can see my target, and I can make a really nice, easy, smooth transition right through it, right? In terms of footwork on approach to the ball, again, you want to get that back foot as close as you can to it. You'll see a lot of guys that will kind of step into their pass as they throw. I'm indifferent either way. I, you know, I, I think a lot of this comes down to preference, and that's just a personal opinion. But something that I always urge people to do and to try is something that um, actually someone kind of urged me to do it when I was a bit younger, and it was really awkward at first. It's almost like a hop step into it, if that, if that makes sense. So if you see it kind of in action, I'm taking small, quick, choppy steps, and I'm hopping into it from here. Right? So as I approach, taking my steps, boom, and I'm firing it away. That allows me, at this point now, once I'm in this position, I can, I'm set, I'm strong, I'm stable, if I want to run, I just pick it up and I run, right? I can pretty much do anything I want from that position. Whereas if I'm here and I have to wait to take a step, regardless of what I do, I'm going to have to take that step. So I like to come in, stay low, be set, fire, be set, fire. That's a preference. I, you know, I think that it's important that guys at least give it a try. So that's um, single.